It is time for another Launching Life's Journeys podcast powered by Heartland RV. I am your host, Will Miller. As many of you know, with my excitement, we've begun a brand new campground series with MARVAC, the Michigan Association of RVs and Campgrounds. So we also have my lovely co-host, Miss Maris Brennan. And as we do on every podcast, every show takes us to a different destination. Today's destination takes us to Cornwell's Turkeyville, USA, in Marshall, Michigan, home of the famous restaurant and dinner theater. Miss Patty Cornwell, thank you for joining us, stepping out away from the sun to be on the <laughs> Launching Life's Journeys podcast. Thank you so much for having me. All right. So my name is Maris. As Willie said, I'm from Marvac. Uh, we are the Michigan Association of RVs and Campgrounds. We are the destination resource when you are planning campgrounds here in the state of Michigan. And Patty is one of our fabulous members. And she has agreed to come on and tell us all kinds of awesome stories. Patty, tell us a little bit about the history of Cornwall's Turkeyville. I love this history because I, okay. I, I've been there a long time. <laughs> Our, we have a long history. Um, we have a wonderful restaurant. We sit on a 400 acre farm, first of all, and it's out in the middle of nowhere, but easy to get to just off the highway. And we are 54 years old in our restaurant. Um, we're, I'm third generation family. There's fourth, fourth generation is my retirement plan. And then um, my grandkids are the fifth generation, all willing to work already. So it's a lot, a lot of family. It's a lot of fun, 90% of the time. You know family, right? <laughs> yep. Hell oh, yeah. <laughs> we have a 300-seat restaurant, and we serve turkey any way you can imagine. We serve turkey Rubens. We have turkey sandwiches, turkey salad, uh, barbecue turkey. So anything you can fathom. We make fresh pies every day. We have 13 different kinds of pies. They're so really always making pies. And the rhubarb is the best. But coconut cream is our best seller. So, you know, everyone has their own favorite flavor. We have an ice cream parlor. We make all our own ice cream. So twice a week, we have people that come in. We let the kids that work for us design flavor. So we have all kinds of flavors of ice cream. Turkey Tracks is one of them. <laughs> um, we have a huge gift shop, 5,000 square feet. We have everything from stuffed animals to home, home fixtures, um, all kinds of stuff like that. We have a bakery. We make all our own good baked goods. And everything, everything is made just the way Grandma made it back in the beginning. So uh, still her recipe for the rhubarb pie, still her everything. My daughter is, um, I've always said my daughter was given to me as a grandma. She's an excellent cook and she, she makes new recipes all the time. Um, so it's a really fun place. We also have a dinner theater, it seats 176 people. And in our dinner theater, we do five shows a year plus a children's theater in the summer. And we're doing I Do, I Do. We have Trailer Park, the musical this summer, which is a comedy. And um, in the spring, we're doing Sex, Please, We're 60, which is also a comedy. Wow. <laughs> I know. So good lineup and shows for this year. And the dinner theater is a roast turkey with mashed potatoes and dressing, kind of a, a buffet before you see the show. Um, the whole experience is about four hours long, and it's a blast. We do eight shows a week, so very busy with that. And then we also have a campground. And in our campground, we have 176 sites as well. And um, it's walking distance from all of the things I just said. Wow. The campground's about 12 years old. Awesome. Now, I just, I want to back up a little bit. I mean, obviously, multi-generational, family-owned, um, you know, obviously, I'm sure that you guys have developed very strong relationships with repeat uh, customers and families that come year after year. If you would just, how, how did this all begin? Um, the, the restaurant started with my husband's, it's my husband's family. Okay. So I wasn't born in a turkey, I just married one. <laughs> and, uh, but his grandpa was a really bad farmer and he had lost all his cattle to a disease. And so the neighbor gave him 12 turkeys and he said, but I guess they're as dumb as I look. So maybe we could do this together. And he started raising turkeys and then it just kept building and building. And 
Um, at first, they just did it at the fair. So once a year at the fair, they would do it. And then they started in 1968, we opened the restaurant. Um, wow. and it just keeps growing and growing and growing and growing. And do you, <laughs> so obviously the, the restaurant history is is very, very strong. So over that timeline then, do you know about the start of when they, well, you, your family decided, you know what, we've got this extra land here. Like when did, when did, when did the campground open along that journey? 12 years ago. 12 years ago. So literally in our motor home on a beach in Florida with a bottle of wine, my husband and I were stand, sitting there going, you know, like he's the numbers guy. I'm the marketing person. I'm like, well, we start a campground. They'll go eat at our restaurant. They'll go to our dinner theater, you know, and we kept talking it back and forth and, then a year later, we started the campground. That's fantastic. What a story. Um, now, you had mentioned when it comes to the campground itself. So, you know, as I always say in my little transition period, we're people always want to know the meat and potatoes. So of the 176 sites, if you can just kind of give me a ballpark, how many are pull through? Do you have size limitations? How many of the sites have hookups available? All right. Well, let me start by saying the pleasure of our campground is we both grew up camping. So we both are motorhome people. We grew okay. up with our families doing it. And then together, we've always had a motorhome. So when we built our campground, we built the campground we wanted to go to. So when you're squished, you know, like, and you're standing outside, you can't get your awning out because the guy next to you is too close. Not at our campground. Like everything is just how we wanted it to be. So all of our sites are at least 40 feet wide and 60 to 80 feet long. So if wow. you pull through, it's 80 feet long. Um, it's uh, napping grass, I said. Like we spend a lot of time growing thick grass because I said you should be able to lay down on the grass and take a nap. Um, all of the sites, all 776 sites are full hookup. So everybody wow. has water, sewer, and electric. Everyone has a cement patio, so you don't have to bring your um, rugs. We have the perfect patio for you. Everyone gets a fire pit and a homemade picnic table because that's what my husband does, and he built all our picnic tables for our campground. <laughs> wow. That's fantastic. Now, just side note, and I'm not trying – I just I want to ask – does he also build picnic tables for passerbys to purchase picnic tables as well? No. No. Okay. So, no, he, so he, we, so he uses his labor of love exclusively for the campsites. Right. He likes to build stuff. We just didn't okay. have any money to buy picnic tables when we started, so we're like, well, we'll build them. So. Wow, we, that is fantastic. It, it's my son-in-law and him that did it. Okay. Awesome. My, my yard looked like a picnic like we were growing picnic tables because we had so many of them to spread on the <laughs> Well, you know, one thing that I really appreciate too with this story as we're getting to know you and our listeners are getting to know Turkeyville USA is it is nice to see that obviously you guys made a dream come true. You are campers, you know the lifestyle and you made sure that you weren't going to make any compromises building what you've built. And I'm sure that you guys, because you've built with the understanding of what campers want and need because of your own experience, I'm fairly confident you guys probably get pretty busy. So when it comes to going back to those meat and potatoes and booking, what do you recommend over the course of the last 12 years? How how early should be people be contacting you guys to book during the camping season? I mean, is it like a year out or not quite that dramatic, maybe just a month or two ahead of the season? Right. Well, if you want, I mean, holiday weekends right now are already pretty much sold out, maybe okay. a little bit for Labor Day, but our holiday weekends go fast. Um, you kind of said something about repeat customers. We have a lot of that. We have a lot of people that come out and say they're going to stay for two days, stay for a week or a month. It's just that much fun. Um, and I'll tell you more about that. But I would recommend calling as soon as you know, like we're yeah. booking now. Um, we actually have 50 spots that are year round. So we're open all winter. So there's someone in the office every day ready to take your reservations. Um, but besides all the stuff we've already talked about that goes around at Turkeyville, we have a calendar of events. So okay. April through the end of October, we have something going on, not at the campground directly, but just that short walking path down to Turkeyville. And there's like flea markets and craft shows. 
Um, we have a huge tractor show the second week in July. We have over 700 tractors. Wow. Um, and every year it's a different theme. So it's either originals or a family heirloom kind of tractor show. So it's really fun. We do tractor pulls. I must say I won last year. Hey. Wow. Well, I know. Someone <laughs> said it was rigged. I say, no way. It was me. I was the best puller. I don't think I could pull a tractor. Huh? I don't think I could pull a tractor. Oh, yeah. You drive it and you got this big <laughs> weight behind you and you pull the weight. They were that is awesome. On, I won. But anyway, so we have flea markets and craft shows. There's all kinds of stuff. In the fall, we're really well known for our haunted adventures. Very family oriented. Um, the whole month of every weekend in October and it's um, a haunted barn. Now it's spooky, not scary. Like little yeah. kids can do it. Um, we have a hayride, we have a pumpkin patch and um, we have a corn maze. So for one price, you get to come and do all that. And if you're at the campground, you can do it as many times as you want. That's so wow. Fun. You know, I did my first um, non marvac RV and camper show in Grand Rapids just recently. And mm. one of the things that Marvac does is we collect um, rack cards and brochures from all of our member campgrounds and we take them and I sell, I, I sell our member campgrounds along with our directories and stuff. And I had your rack card out and I swear to you, every family that came up to me in that booth is like, oh, they have turkey now. We love turkey now. <laughs> turkey now is so fun. I'm like, that's awesome. That's so fantastic. But you are definitely a crowd favorite with the people that come into the Marvac booth because they are, they all have fantastic stories. One of the kids told me about mining for gems. What is that? Oh, yeah. We, my husband built this gem mining <laughs> sluice. And so um, you actually, you get a bag of dirt and gems and you go out and you mine the sluice um, and you get gems and then you get a little bag and you get a whole piece of paper that tells you what all the gems are and the kids love it, love, love it. That is awesome. And I know too, uh, as I had mentioned on your intro, you are located in Marshall, Michigan. So for people that haven't gone to our the great state of Michigan uh, around the area just again over your years of, of being around what are some of the My yeah dad. you can point out where your location <laughs> is um, what are some of the things to maybe do off the grounds that's nearby I believe that there's a casino for people that are into that can you kind of just speak to maybe some of the feedback you've gotten from campers over the years as far as what they like to do around the area as well Sure. Um, the casino is one. Fire Keepers. It's about eight miles away. Um, we also have Marshall is very historic. So there's a, a magic museum. There's a Honolulu house, which is um, a home and Marshall's very historic home district. Lots of great architecture. Uh, there's also a linear park. So if you like riding bikes or walking, there's a Michigan has a linear park and we're part of that. We're just off that system. So and there's lots of lakes. We don't have a lake. We do have a fishing pond with big fish. But and and you and, and I know you also have a lot of uh, golf courses around the area that they oh, could easily yeah. drive to as well. Very yeah, good. We do. Right across the street. There's a really good one. Yeah. And you know, one of my favorite breweries is down that way too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I forgot about that. I can't drink beer anymore. So oh, I forget about well, the breweries. We start course right near you. That's sad. Oh, now I just know. and just so the listeners know, now does the restaurant offer spirits and beverages for adults or we do have beer and wine at the restaurant. Okay. Yep. And we do have a full bar in our dinner theater. Okay. So you can have anything you want. That's good to know. Well, awesome. And like I said, there's so many things to do. And I think I want to round back to, you know, as you look ahead, you actually have this business down. I mean, my goodness, for, for all the generations. Uh, what is kind of, I guess, your hopes or goals for the future? I mean, do you see you guys just staying consistent and focusing on a great experience for all your guests? Do you see potentially even more things being added in the future? Uh, well, we have some plans to add on more campsites, I think. Um, we get so full, it's hard. I'm a believer that you can't be full all the time. That's not really a good selling card. 
So I believe we need to get to the point where we have some available, you know, yeah. Uh, so you could call and get one whenever you wanted. So adding more campsites, um, continuing what we do and doing it well, always growing great turkeys. Uh, our turkeys are grown specifically for us on another family farm. Um, so we put a lot of effort and that's a multi-generational family farm too. So okay. my daughter it teaches a lot of classes. So we teach you how to can, how to garden. She'll teach macrame classes. Uh, so in the wintertime, we're always doing that kind of thing. Uh, so we'll just keep doing what we do and keep doing it really well. Wow. You just really let the family just go crazy with their ideas. Like we I do. Think this would be awesome. So let's do this now. And that's yep. a wonderful way to run a, a business and a wonderful way to run a family. That's awesome. So if our listeners then Patty want to uh, get booked, look at what you have to offer in the store get signed up for some of these activities that you have and start planning. Are you on social media or a website? What is the best way for people to get in touch with Cornwell's Turkeyville USA? Well, we are on Facebook. Um, we do Instagram. We are, uh, obviously we have a website, www.turkeyville.com. And call, if you call for the campground, you'll talk to Angela, who is our manager and she's something. You'll. <laughs> you gotta like Angela. She's a lot of fun. Yeah. So for our yeah. listeners, what is the phone number? 269-781-4293. Awesome. And when is the official start or opening for camping season where campers can start arriving? April 1st. Okay. April 1st. Well, Maris... I think we've got our fill with Miss Patty Cornwell <laughs> giving us a breakdown. Patty, I love you sharing your family's story. Um, I love how it, you know, blossomed from maybe a failure of farming to now serving, you know, hundreds of families every summer, creating lifetime memories. And, you know, what makes my heart warm is that tradition is continuing and to see your children embracing it and wanting to continue your guys' legacy. Kudos to you guys, and I wish you guys nothing but a fantastic camping season here starting April 1st. So again, for everybody listening, look up Cornwell's Turkeyville USA on Facebook, Instagram, or go to turkeyville.com and get your questions answered and get your trip booked. And hope to see you guys all there. And I wish you and your husband and your family safe travels back because you guys do live the lifestyle. So <laughs> safe travels getting back. And I hope, like I said, you guys have a great start to this year. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me on. It was great to see you, Patty. Yes. <laughs> nice to see you. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. I'm Will Miller, and I want to thank you for tuning in to the Launching Life's Journeys podcast brought to you by Heartland RVs. Stay tuned for our next destination.